catechetical directory. Jesus is the center of catechesis. And if we are serious about our catechesis, we have to look at Jesus very, very closely by reading the four gospels. Kung tatlo lang ang pinasa, no? Uh, ano, kulang yan. Kasi may, may libro tayo, One Jesus, Four Gospels. Para ma, makilala mo si Jesus talaga, todo-todo, you have to read the Four Gospels. Uh, the Four Gospels. And you can see, Jesus is a, a has preferential of, option for the poor. Meron ako, meron ako, Israel Hanna, pinatuwa nun, meron siyang Four Angels. So, ang biro namin sa Theology Department, the preferential option for the Four. <laughs> For the poor. Why in the church we greatly venerate the sacred scriptures? The Christian faith is not a religion of the book. Christianity is a religion of the word of God. Not a written and mute word, but the incarnate and living word. Kaya kailangan natin buhayin ang word, nakikita ang word of God in the way we live our lives, in the way we relate with one another. So relationship is very, very important. Kaya sa religion classes natin, sasabihin, Uh, sasabihin ng estudyante, religion teacher ko yan. Did you improve because of your religion teacher? Was your religion teacher or catechist able to uh, help you to improve yourself? Natatawa ako pag naalala ko yung si Cardinal Tagli, sabi ko si Sok, ano ba ka? Anong tinuturo ng ano, katikis pa niyo? Sabi mo na, Very, ano naman, very honest yung bata. <laughs> so, we're going to come in in number 74 says here. I am not the one talking here. It is uh, Pope Emeritus Benedict the 16. Here, I wish first and foremost, sabi niya, to stress that catechesis must be permitted by the mindset. Ano ang mindset natin? Mindset, the spirit and the outlook of the Bible and the Gospels. Hindi mo yan makukuha kung hindi mo babasahin ng Gospel. Hindi mo yan makukuha kung hindi mo i-contemplate ang Gospels, tsaka ang Bible. Through assiduous, assiduous, you are very patient, you're very, you have time for it. Sometimes you ask, nagre-research ako eh, why don't you read the Bible? Wala akong time. Pero well, may time ka mag-text, no? May time ka for everything except reading the Bible. What we consider important, we always have time for what we consider important. <laughs> Minsan may nanligaw sa akin, oh. <laughs> tapos sabi niya din, sorry ako kasi wala akong time. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, it's me. Because when you have, when you consider a person important, may time ka. Eh, wala ka lang time eh. Dismiss. That is not what I mean. Oh, but that is what I mean. Dismiss. Okay. So, it also means remembering that catechesis will be all the richer and more effective for reading the text with the mind and heart of the church. You know, this is what I mean. Ni Mansina, hindi natin dapat i-separate ang kanya, ang ating tradisyon. And for drawing inspiration from the two million of the church's reflection and life. Wow! Kung pumunta kayo sa Roma, pakita nyo yun doon yung ano, uh, ano ba yun, yung Coliseum. And then you imagine how many, how many roars and how many cries and how many sounds have been emitted from the Coliseum from people who Uh, defended their faith and was ready, were ready to die for their faith. Ang imagine na talaga. And I would ask myself, kaya ko kaya yun? Yung gugutumin yung mga liyo ng dalawang linggo. Pagkatapos sasabihin sa'yo, Nati, Kristiyano ka pa ba? Katoliko ka ba? Bakit? Oo, oh, katoliko ako. O sige, doon po takot sa liyo. Ano? Liyo? No? Ay, wala sa powers ng ipugaw ang liyo. <laughs> So kung pwede ko sa parang paradigm, meron ka bang ano? Paradigm shift. Yung mga necessary paradigm shifts. Because you have your own paradigm, that's right. We have our own paradigm. But because you are a religion teacher, because you are a Christian, because you are a disciple, because you are a follower of Jesus, are you able to change your paradigms? 
no paradigm shift ang pinag-usapan dito. It starts with the, it starts with the self. Kailangan talaga magbago ka na lagi. Hindi pwede na, uh, you know, roti-roti ka uh, uh, lagi. Kasi ikaw, pinasok mo yung ano, pagtuturo ng Biblia, you have to be sincere. You have to be uh, truthful. You have to be, kung sinasabi, get out of your comfort zone. O sige, umalis na ako sa marriage. Eh. Ay, wala pala, hindi na pa ako. I did not enter marriage. What I mean to say, hindi ko na entertain yun kasi that can be one of the ways by which by which you can be a more effective evangelizer. Depende sa iyo kung anong interpretation mo. Bakit ka pumasok sa ano? Sabi ng teacher ko sa isang mother, Bakit? Why did you enter the Father and Sister? Because God told me. Ah! Did God talk to you? Father naman! <laughs> when did you hear the voice of God? So he, was, he was of course trying to find out whether the, teacher, the sister knew what she was talking about. But somehow, somewhere in our lives, we experience something, we experience a call from God, and that call it speaks very eloquently to us, even if it is not within the hearing of others. So, if we, if we receive that call, necessarily, there is a paradigm shift, like Francis of Assisi. Oh, na-experience na yun, tignan nyo naman. Tapos sabi ng tatay niya, sige, makipagbarta na kapag dyan, at kukunin ko lahat yung mga binigay ko sa'yo. Okay lang, sabi niya, sige, bigay ko lahat. Binigay, pati underwear, binigay. Kaya nga, nakita ko siya, nakadamit ng sako. Tapos bumunta doon sa mundo. Ang kanyang kapatid, brother, son, sister, moon, lahat ng mga doon, lahat ng mga langgam doon, at langgam doon. <laughs> mga kaibigan niya. So, another, another, uh, what do you call that now? I uh, think that we have to be aware of. And knowledge of biblical person is yes. Ano na ito? Methodology na ito. Events and well-known saying should thus be encouraged. So, hindi pa outmoded yan. Si Pope Benedict, ano sa sabi dito? This can also be promoted by judicious memorization of some passages which are particularly expressive of the Christian mystery. Sa halip na ipamemorize nila, oh, pag-ibig na makapangyarihan sa buong magamay yung sinasaklaw, pag ikaw ay nasok sa puso ni Luman, ah, matin lahat, masunod ka lamang. Huwag na yun. Ang yun ipamemorize, my Lord is my shepherd, there's nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastors. O diba, iba diba na lang mga mukha nyo ah, nung ano, yun ang na napapamemorize. Sana kung gano'n ang pinamemorize ang teachers namin, marami sana kami alam. Pero, it's not too late pa rin naman na alamin. So, kaya ako naman madali kasi 67 years old na ako eh. Baka wala na akong panahon. <laughs> Kating cases, you communicate in a lively way. Methodology din yan ha. In a lively way, the history of salvation. So yan, how do we communicate? It starts with the face. And then you have, of course, the disposition. Diba? Kaya nga, uh, lumabas yung uh, joy of the gospel. It's very redundant kasi gospel is supposed to be joyful. Pero bakit, bakit inirepeat? Bakit uh, inuulit ni, parang ano, inuulit ni Pope Francis yun? Makikita natin mamaya. It should be communicated in a lively way. The history of salvation and the content of the church's faith. And so enable every member of the faithful to realize that this history is also part of his or her own life. Kaya pinanggit din dyan ang Lectio Divina. It's not outmoded, my dear friends. Lectio Divina is mentioned several times here and it is a way of uh, weaving the Bible text with your life text. Kasi yung Bible text is not supposed to be viewed. It's not supposed to be dead. It's supposed to be alive in your life. In your life and in my life. That is why Lectio Divina has been repackaged in several ways in order to be in order that the Word of God will be accessible to everyone, no matter how simple the person may be. Once upon a time, the side of Scripture was viewed or seen as something very hectic, very difficult, very, you know, uh, distant. Pero ngayon hindi na. Go into the Scripture, find out where your life is there in Scripture. Uh, with what do you resonate in Scripture? It can be personal, but it has also to be communal. Okay? And here, of course, I... I will not miss that, no? Uh, I heard several speeches from Dominity, but I didn't have, I, I, I heard only one bishop uh, talking about this. Why do they miss this? I should not miss that. So, sabi ni Pope Benedict, I would like to highlight the recommendations of the Synod concerning the role of women in relation to the Word of God. Today, more than in the past, the feminine genius, he's repeating the words of St. John Paul II, 
the feminine genius, to use the words of John Paul II, has contributed greatly to the understanding of scriptures and to the whole life of the church. And this is now also the case with biblical studies. The Synod paid special attention to the indispensable role played by women in the family, education, catechesis, and communication of values. Napanggit ni Father kanina, may mga iba sa atin na sinasabi natin, ah, katikis na lang ako, wag mong lang langin yung ano, yung uh, status mo because everybody is given a share in the wisdom of God. Kaya nga we are made to the image and likeness of God. Kasi lahat tayo may wisdom, lahat tayo may gift of the Lord which we can use and contribute in the proclamation of the word. So, hanapin mo dyan, ano ba yung ano? So, karamihan sa mga katikis mga kababaihan, ano yung mga gifts ko as a woman besides talking? Besides, uh, <laughs> ano yung mga pwede kong gamitin para ma-enhance yung proclamation of the word of God not only in word but also in deed Yan, sa family for example education, catechesis so they have an ability to lead people to hear God's word to enjoy a personal relationship with God enjoy ha? enjoy a personal relationship with God and to show the meaning of forgiveness they communicate wars and evangelical sharing. How do we communicate in a peaceful way? Alala ko yung sa kalinga noon. Ay, mga sa mga kalalaki, ano nga ano ba? Ano mga gagawin doon na uh, sisirain yung mga, yung mga rice fields because they're supposed to come up with uh, a dump? Ay, naku, pumunta yung mga lalaki. May mga bolo sila, may mga, ano, mga gadget sila kasi magpipagpatayin doon sa mga Korean. Sabi mga kababayan, ano, tatay, tatay, tatay. Sabi ko yan, dito kayo doon kayo sa gili. Bakit? Kami, kami mga kababayan pumunta. sila lahat. Marcha! Kasi that is not ano naman. Sa amin, hindi yan malicious. Ginawa nyo lang malicious eh, kayo mga tao dito. Pero kami sa akin lang. So, marcha sila. Sabi nga sa akin, ba't hindi ka nag-join? Ay ako, sabi pa sa lasal eto, isang lasal eto. Marcha sila. Nagpakuhan. It's in the papers, you, you research in the 70s, I think. Uh, Nagtakuhan yung mga dapat maudan nyo doon. So there are ways and means that are uh, creatively uh, cooked or concocted by women, no? Which can be used, no? For peaceful means, for peaceful ways. Doon din sa sagada. Sa sagada, lahat ng mga nurse, lahat ng mga nanay, sabi nila, hindi kami uwi kasi lata kayo. Mga alasay ko kayo, nagsusugal kayo. So, lahat sila, yung mga kababayan, pumunta doon sa, ano, sa plaza. Ah, basta, magutom pa yun, wala, wala kayo. Wala. Nagkaisa sila. Eh, umuwi yung mga kalalangyan, walang mga ano. Eh, kasi, nagtutungit-tungit tayo. Unless you stop that, we not also stop our chuchuchuchu uh, doon sa ano. Sa, and that is, that was part of the solution that they had. Women can be creative. <laughs> that can be. They are creative. But they can also be creative in the other sense of the word. So that is not what we mean. Paradigm shift to the gospel values. Creative in order to promote the gospel values. So the coming of uh, you know, uh, the production of this book, Joy of the Gospel, si Pope Francis, Maraming sinasabi tungkol sa paradigm shift. And of course, overriding all these things that he's saying, he's talking here about joy. Our encounter with Jesus gives rise to a desire to share our joy with others. I think that is one of the meanings of your salt of the earth. You give taste to the lives of people. You give consolation to the lives of people. You are an example of somebody who can, who can console people in their miseries. Pope Francis is inviting us to go for, from our comfort zone. So, ito ngayon, anong comfort zone to? In order to reach all the peripheries, sabi ni Father Pahapon, words like peripheries, the poor, the indigent, the least, the listless, those who are not in the least. No? These, these are people who, these are generic terms. Generic terms. But you, you have to say, sino ang poor dito, mga fishermen? Among the fishermen, sino ang talagang poor? Eh, itong mga nasa ano, do, do, sa peripheries, eh, sino ang among them who are still poorer than them? Talagang tutukan kung sino talaga ang nangangailangan ng ano. Kasi nagbibigay kami ng, ng Bible for the poorest of the poor. Lahat pumunta sa office, ako 
Oh, the pores of the poor. The pores of the poor. They don't know how to run away. They don't know the pores of the poor. But it is because they want to avail of the discount. So, the pores of the poor, they don't know how to run away. 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 But because we want all families in the Philippines as much as possible to have a Bible, so kita na ibigay natin sa fifty pesos. So mga hindi pa na order, mag order na kayo. Hindi ako nagtitinda pero nagarbitrage. Kasi for the word of God, yan ang isa sa mga paradigm shift. How can you know the word of God? Wala kang Bible. Kailangan meron kang Bible na babasahin. So Bible na babasahin, hindi yung Bible na ilalagay lang para makita ng dami-dami klase ng Bible. So go to the peripheries. In need of the life of the gospel. Kapag nagkaroon ako kwento ang kami, tinatanong sa akin, ano ang nangyari sa paamo? Ay, pinasok yan ng isang virus. Tapos, namagat talaga, nung lulunong na ako ng medicine na binigay nila, namagat talaga, ang laki lang yan. Hindi ako makalakad, ganyan-ganyan ako. Sabi ng sister ko, tulong kita. Ay, wala ganyan. I have to learn how to be independent throughout my life. Pagkatapos, nakikita ko ang kalendari na ako, September 15. Merong ano, seminar sa Davao. Kailangan na doon ako sa Davao. Uh, September 17. So September 16, sabi ko, Doh, I have to uh, go home. Why? Because my bills are rising. Sabi ko ganyan. I have to, I will take care of myself at home. Are you sure? Yes, sabi ko. So pinalabas ako. Sabi ko sa sister ko, Diretso sa araw, airport. Ay, no! Eh, kasi may seminar ako bukas. Ay, no ka ba? Eh, go to the periphery, sir. Yan na. Get out of your comfort zones. Pwede, pwede pa naman. So, nandun ako sa Davao. Nakaganyan ako ha. So, sabi ko, Ang saya-saya pala yung uh, you go with the mindset of Pope Francis na, ay, ganyan kami, joy pa rin sa loob na, wow, ang dami namin pumunta, eh, paano mong hindi ako pumunta? Kawawa naman yung Bible, ano, animator to, babayaran niya yung, ano, yung uh, venue, babayaran niya pa yung mga hindi niya, kasi nag-refundable, hindi na niya maibabalik sa kanya yung pera. Eh, ako na lang, ano, punta doon kaya, ano, sige, pumunta na lang ako. Sige, gano'n rin tayo, ha? Kung meron mag ay, 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 punta rin tayo, kasi, Uh, uh, to, to stay in your office, that is not the idea of evangelization. Now, sabi ni Pope Francis, you have to get out. Si sister na, kung biinimita ako sa Basila. Sabi ko, Basila? Uh, Basila? Uh, oh, sister. Uh, and and, and so I will meet you, sabi niya. Kinagano ako, nagtuturo ako. Bum, 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 sabi ko. Sabi ko ganyan. Sabi ng mga katika sa, okay lang lang yan. Normal lang yan. Normal? Normal? <laughs> But uh, you know, we meet experiences like that because you know how when you when you go, you risk your life, talaga. You risk so many things. Why? Because Jesus said, "Go." He did, he did not say memorize. He says, "Go and make disciples of all nations." No, teach them all that I have commanded you. All that I have commanded you. Nako, a lifetime is not enough. And I will be with you till the end of time. Hindi na ako po sorry sa mo, mama mga mga kulor pero mas mawakita ha. You can never be happy if you're always afraid. Kaya you can never be happy if you're always afraid to let go of what's comfortable. Hero of the poor na yun ako. Every seminar meron kayo mga kabisenta, meron kayo mga t-shirt. Bilangin natin yung kung ano ilan mga t-shirt nyo. At kung isi nyo kailangan ibigay na hero of the poor, magiend ang hero of the poor. Nandiyan pa yung mga collection ninyo hindi pa ninyo binigay. Oh. And then, those are the familiar sometimes, those are the things that hurt us. Okay, so, yeah, go to those who are depressed, oppressed, who cannot express themselves, to have them out like Jesus did with the least of the least. Ito yung ano, yung Samaritan woman, against all odds, dapat hindi siya makipag-usap kasi ito ay woman, ito ay Samaritan, at saka, hindi siya dapat, ano, hindi niya dapat titan. Pero siya yung nauna. Siya pa yung naunang nagtanong dito sa babae kaya nagtakay kong babae. But that is another seminar. Kasi yung tipo, the new evangelization is all about Jesus Christ and living out the faith that draws us closer to Him. It's about our relationship, your relationship and my relationship with Christ. As well as helping others to continually develop 
Kasi kailangan i-nurture natin yung, ano, yung relation, relationship na yan, day in and day out. At tignan nyo yung mga ano, nasa ibang grupo. Ang saya-saya nila. Hallelujah, hallelujah, etc. And then, they are, may mga ano, may mga pastors na gumagabay sa kanila. And pag hindi sila pumupunta, bubisitahin sa bahay. Bakit hindi ka nagpunta? Ano ang ano? So, they, they really follow them up. No? Okay. So, there is a movement from academic cerebral knowledge to a personal encounter with Jesus. Encounter means to say, the experience of Forgiveness, the experience of um, seeing Jesus, experiencing Jesus in another person. Right? So, yan ang paradigm uh, shift natin. The supreme duty is to proclaim Christ to all peoples. Proclaim Christ in word and in deed. If you look closely at the life of Jesus in the Gospels, he's not only a man of words, but he's a man of deeds, especially in the Gospel of Mark. So, it's words and deeds. So, as men and women who believe in and proclaim the gospel, we have a responsibility towards creation that cannot be more emphasized. Revelation makes known God's plan for the cosmos, yet it also leads us to denounce that mistaken attitude which refuses to view all created realities as a reflection of the Creator and as connected with one another. Oh. Nung tayo sa talo last Sunday, kasi we were asked to give a sabi ni Father, Masarap yan, Ate, masarap. Ha, masarap? Ano yan? Sisig, sabi niya. Terus tinip mo ito. Pati ka dito ang, ano, ang taste. Sisig ng krokodai. Ha, krokodai! Hindi ko, ano, hindi ko, ano, Robert, I was, I was thinking, ah, I was supposed to eat the animals. I was supposed to, no, kill the animals. Sabi na ni Bishop Paglen. Ah, ang instinct natin is always to destroy. Ang sabi niya, meron lang nag-win-win dyan na, sa kanya to ha, nag-win-win na mosquito to. Your first instinct is, ah! Wala na lang. <laughs> sabi yung mosquito, nag-win-win na yun dyan. Kaya sabi ko, ano ba ang sasabihin? O sige, eto na ang tenga ko. Ay, ako, eh paano kung tenga yan? <laughs> so, anyway, he has his point. He's saying, we should not be like that. Our first instinct is always to destroy. Co-responsibility demands, demands a change in mindset, especially concerning the role of lay people in the church. O tayo, di ba? Nakaroon tayo ng year of the lay team. They should not be regarded as, they should not be regarded as collaborators of the clergy, but co-responsible for the churches being and acting. Pumunta ko sa isang place sa Mindanao, sabi ko, kung saan ang battle ko sa lay dito, Father? Sabi ng pari, eh kasi namatay na si Father Lumen. Eh namatay na yung inyong regional director, papatay mo na rin ang ano, Bible Apostolate dito, Father, ano ba na yan? So kailangan, we are more responsible. All of us are leaders there, so we do not see each other as one over the other, but we see each other as, you know, working with one another for the good of all. Diba? Hindi porque wala yung isa, ano, mamamatay na yung ano, project kasi wala yung isa. Pagkatapos mag-initiate yung isa, ah, uh, magkakaroon ng ano, hidwaan with the others. I think that is one thing we have to reflect on and think about. Leadership. Because I believe that leadership plays a very important role in the success or in the uh, failure of any organization for that matter. That is why in the Bible it says there, the more is given to you, the more is the responsibility. No. The more you know, the more you're responsible for what you know. Kaya ako minsan sabi ko, I wish I had not known. Kasi kung I did not know, sana hindi ako responsible, pero alam ko kasi. No? So, here, it is therefore important that a mature and committed lady, mature and committed, that is again a journey, journey towards maturity, journey towards commitment, be consolidated, which can make its own specific contribution to the Ecclesia, the church mission with respect for ministries and tasks that each one has in the life of the church and always in cordial communion with the bishops. Kami, EMPA, Episcopal Commission of Biblical Apostolate, ano? uh, CBCP. So it's a commission under the CBCP. Catechetical MJ is also under the uh, CBCP. Even liturgy is with the CBCP. Now, in 2010, Bishop Ambo said, can you go and facilitate? We will facilitate the, you know, yung plenary session ng mga obispo. Bakit po? You ask them, what is the role of catechesis in relation to the uh, Word of God? What is the role of uh, 
the youth, the commission on youth in relation to the word of God, pumili siya ng seven commissions. So my goodness, I had to go there. Oh, mag-lesson na po kayo, uh, Archbishop. So, ano well daw kinalaman ng katikisis dun sa ano? Sa word of God. And they, they abide dead. They, they, ano, they went one by one to, to show the relationship of these commissions. Brothers and sisters, gone are the days when we say, Ikaw nasa altar, ako dito, ako sa Bible Apostolate. So, wala akong pakialam sa'yo, wala akong pakialam sa akin. Hindi na po ganyan. Collaborative na po ang efforts ngayon. Kahit na doon sa CBCP among the executive secretaries, pumunta nga po si Monsignor para pag-isahin kami. Kasi kanya-kanya, kanya-kanya na ano ginagawa. Hindi pwede. Dapat alam mo yung ginagawa ng iba. At kung meron ka pa itutulong, sige gawin mo. Kaya nandito po ang EFBA. Tatlo po kami dito. Isang tao doon sa office. Kasi alam namin, meron kami matutulungan dito at meron kami may tutulong at meron kami may tutulong sa amin kasi uh, nagkakaisa po tayo nagtutulungan po tayo kahit liturgy yung nakikita ng uh, Catholic Daily Bible Reading Guide kami po ang nag-check-check niyan that belongs rightly to the liturgy pero okay lang magtulungan tayo uh, we will check kung uh, correct ba yung lahat ng ano na nandun bago i-produce or i-pilit uh, ng uh, si, ay ng uh, Philippine Bible Society so we are co-responsible for one another. Okay? There should be a movement from a faith of habit to a faith which is conscious and personally lived in the light of the gospel. Yes. Ito na po yung last part. The newness that Pope Francis wishes to restore in the church mission of evangelization is joy. So kung kahit na ang paradigm lang natin is that element of joy, okay na ako, masaya na ako. If all of us will be joyful getting out of this uh, of this session, maganda na yun na, no? kasi when there is joy in proclaiming the word of God, it's contaminating. It contaminates, it invites, it inspires people to listen to the word of God. Inviting, first of all, to view the word from the perspective of those who are under side of it, the under side of history. Ito naman ay... Um, mga tinuro ni Pop, ay ni Pop, ni Bishop Ambo, noong uh, PCE, ano, PCNE, PCNE, oo, yung mga hindi nakakunta doon, kaya share ko sa inyo. Exactly what did Jesus, uh, di, what Jesus did for first century Judaism is what Francis of Assisi did for medieval Christianity. Jesus' gospel is not about himself as the Christ or the Son of God. It is about the reign of God. Jesus died for a kingdom. Jesus died for the values and principles that God wanted him to uh, to achieve in this earth and to live in this earth and to proclaim in this earth. Gospel means good news. And this is a vocabulary that is borrowed from Isaiah 61. Good news. Ano ba yung good news na yan? We have to be able to spell it out. Pag tinuturo natin, salvation. Mom, what is salvation? Salvation na, salvation from your sin. Ano yun? Abstract yun, mga kapatid. Kailangan, as catechists and religious educators, you have to be able to bring it down to the level of understanding by the students. Uh, one of the reasons why is ang iba kasi, hindi nila naiintindan yung abstractions natin sa pagtuturo natin. Kailangan magbigay tayo ng examples, kailangan pakita natin na yun ay buhay na buhay at nangyayari, at pinangyayari natin sa buhay natin. So, I say that they are speaking as a prophet of hope and consolation. And that is the message of the resurrection also. A message of hope. We have something to look forward to. God's mouthpiece, he relied only on anointing by the Spirit. Si Isaiah ito. Anointing by the Spirit. So, ano itong anointing? Without being anointed by the Spirit, it is not possible to proclaim uh, the good news. God's good news. So, ano yung anointed by the Spirit na to? Anointing at the core of Christian life, it is what baptism is all about. Pag tinuturo natin ang baptism, I think so much is... Uh, put as uh, emphasis doon sa mga ninang, sa mga ninong, uh, anong gagawin. No, but the heart of baptism, ano ba talaga ang baptism? I baptize you with water, but He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. When we are baptized, we are baptized by the Holy Spirit, so we are given gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh, one of the gifts is to be able to proclaim. Acts 10 verse 38 says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Spirit and with power. How He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with Him. Okay? 
So too much focus on baptism as cleansing. Let us not forget the essence of baptism as crossing, crossing over. Sama ba mga cross over? Crossing over went with anointing by the Spirit, the opening up of the heavens, God's voice being heard. So may ano? May visual aid, may audio visual aid. It was what people experienced when they encountered Jesus. When we encounter Jesus, what do we encounter? Anointing by the Spirit, heaven opening up, hearing God's voice. Ano to? Experiencing rebirth from a child of one's parents to God's beloved child. We are transformed from something cultural to something spiritual and something realistic and the two are merged together. So in short, the joy of the gospel from Francis, Pope Francis. Not through the long speeches, no, but through short sound bites. By sound bites, Bishop Ambo means one-liners. Kahit one-liner lang. Nakikinig talaga ako doon sa counseling ng pastor na yun. Ako, maraming umiyak, maraming nagte-text, maraming nagte-telepono. Kahit isang text lang na nabasa nila sa Biblia, tama na yun para sila ay magbago. Sabi niya, nung binabasa ko, come to me, all of your heavy burden, and I will give you rest. Talagang nangusap ko ang Panginoon sa akin. Nakita ko po yung mukha ni Jesus. At sinasabi sa akin, Anak, ang iyong pighati, hindi yan, eh, hindi mo yan dadalhin na mag-isa. Kasama mo ako. They elaborated on that text. One-liner lang yan, pero sapat na yan para nakapagpabago sa disposition ng tao. Can we do that also? So, by its like, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Now, let it speak to you. Let it speak to me. Makasalanan ako, sasabihin sa akin. I don't condemn you. Go and sin no more. It must be coming from somebody who loves you so much na hindi yung kasalanan mo ang mas mahalaga kundi ikaw. Ikaw ang pagkatao mo. And to Saki, you said, hurry and come down. I must stay with your house today. Wow, to be invited to eat at somebody else's house. That means to say he considers you as a friend. And because he was invited and you went, Naku, talaga, gano'n naman si Saki, you sabi na, we returned four times what I have stolen. He was transformed because of his encounter with Jesus. He said to the apostles, kahit mga apostles, let the little children come to me. It is to such that this, uh, that, uh, to this, that the kingdom of God belongs. Anyway, so that lang yung mga text, oh. my son, your sins are forgiven. No, your sins are forgiven. I will do it. Be made clean. Be made clean. How many years has he been now shedding blood? Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed. Consoling words to people in distress. People are sick. People who thought they had no hope in life. Do not be afraid. According to scholars, you find that 366 times in the Bible. I did not count. I, uh, I will not have time to count how many times it is said, do not be afraid. But I get it from scholars. They said, alam mo, 366 times you find the word, do not be afraid. That means to say, every day, plus one, Jesus is saying, or God is telling us, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Okay, tax collectors, there will be more joy in heaven. No? This is the conclusion of that lost ship. That lost ship, sabi ko sa isang pari, ready ka na sa inculturated, ano mo? Inculturated, ano mo, may limo? Ah, oo, sabi niya. Ano ang reading ngayon? Na lost ship, ha? Inculturated? Oo, sabi niya. So, doon ako sa likod ng simbahan mo po. Tapos sabi niya, and now I will inculturate, sabi niya sa pili, the parable of the lost ship. It will be the parable of the lost carbon.
the concept of the parable. He knew not the purpose of parable. Be careful with the cultivation, man. And I think you need to know the point. He did work in a again and a bag. A cultivated man. So, you can see the bag for the decoration of the ambo. And the other thing is that you can see the bag for the bag. Anyway, today you will be with me in paradise. So, you know, sa tip dito lang tayo makakuha ng sakas dito lang tayo makakuha ng good tip mabait na magnanaw magnanaw pero mabait so tananay ko oh my great is your faith let it be done to you as you wish wow tananay ka na hindi yan ano June how blessed are you the kingdom of God is yours to the poor look look as the most verses about the poor I will give you rest Wow, to the weird. Ito, ito po meron ito ko. This is what inspired me when I was a student, no? I studied here in Sacred University. And this place is the place where I come to Mass every Sunday, Santa Catalina. That's why it's always nostalgic when I come here. Because our house was there, we come to Shoko up there. And I walk every day to go to St. Louis. Because it was fun to walk during that time. But if I know that my father would ride a jeepney, I play along the along the road because I know he will he will fetch me. He will, he will tell the jeepney driver, stop for my daughter. Diba? <laughs> you know my experiences of love, nasasabi mo, wow, when you speak about the unconditional love of God, hindi mo ba imagine ang unconditional love of God kung wala kang experience ng unconditional. Kasi puro conditional. Ano yung unconditional love of God? Yung mga ganun, walang hinihingi kapalit. No? Kasi kumisan, hindi lang kumisan. Ano, most of the time, so good news, it is good news because it brings about encounter with God. As ano ang encounter with God? Experience of healing. Healing, hindi yung healing. Experience of God's forgiveness, God's healing, God's peace, God's power, God's presence. Okay? Good news to the poor. The poor are the privileged recipients of the good. News. Paborito ni God, paborito ni Lord, ni Jesus. Yung mga poor, the poorest of the poor. No. So if we want to be on the, ang ang inside kan. If we want to be on the side of God, we have to be on the side of the poor. Simple lang. Blessed are the poor, where there is a kingdom of heaven. That's in Luke. But in Matthew, blessed are the poor in spirit. There is a kingdom of heaven. Anyway, that's one for sa inta no akatim. Bad news for those not disposed. Yung hindi makatanggap dito, yung mga hindi nakikinig at saka nagbibigibigihan at saka hindi nila matanggap, katulad ng eh, doon sa ano, doon then, he went away sad for he had many possessions and siguro many positions din. Francis of Assisi, image of that rich young man who was sad despite of his many possessions. Kasi mabigat eh, mabigat, diba? Kaya nga, sa mga kaparehan, sa mga religious, when you transfer, di ba sinasabi, travel life, iwan ninyo yung mga ano. No, you don't bring it with you, you don't bring your book, you don't bring the toilet bowl, you don't bring the, you know, you have to leave it behind. You just go, eh, kung ano ang madagdag mo doon sa next parish, accept it as is, no? So, the gospel of joy says, set him free from the prison of sadness and grief. And, A joy, liberty to the captive, new side of the flight, release to prisoners, to release the year of death. Francis of Assisi, at the time when the church had deteriorated into a pile of rings, he heard God that revealed my church, spiritually and then physically. It was a time when people had gotten used to proclaiming the gospel without joy. Trip to his various necessities, free from superfluities, he discovers a hidden treasure. A pearl of great price. I think some of you can resonate with that. I know a sister whose father ran after her when she said, I'll become a nun. Talagang minabot siya with the gun. I'd rather have my daughter dead rather than enter the convent. Eh, tumabot siya. She was successful in running away from the father. Pero nung mamamatay niya yung father, siya ang minahan, no? Punta naman siya. For even when he is high, siya ang minahan. Now close again by the grandeur of nature taken from the words of the gospel. What do we say? Look at the words of the ear again. Langgaman, marangkam na yan. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns. And yet your heavenly father feeds them. How? 
how they are more important than they are about you. Look at the leaders in the fields, how they grow, that even Solomon in his uh, riches was garbed as beautiful as these flowers. Ah, tinabi ko na. It was poverty that made Francis discovered true wealth. And in poverty, there is wealth. No? Sabi nga ni Sinomayon nun sabi sa atin, eh, yung lumpo na ano, si Mabili, no? ang karuhaan ay hindi hadlang sa pagtatagumpay. Totoo nga. No? That brought him closer to nature. Yan, brother sa sister mo. Sabi sa kanta, open my eyes to visions pure and faith that I may see the glory around me. We are now go back to Laudato Si. I am God's creature of you. I am part. I feel His love awakened in my heart. Brother, son, sister, moon, I now can see you. I can hear your tune so much in love with all that I survey. And from Francis, for to Pope Francis, with the same timeless message of the gospel, we say for people who are so well but end up poor, living a shallow, meaningless, joyless existence of broken relationships. The more money you have, the more people will will uh, crowd against you. But uh, when you have no more money, no more people, no more friends. That's why it's better you have no money because you know who are your true friends. Pag may pera ka, hindi mo alam eh. Kung ikaw wala ba, ay hinahangaan tayo sa pera mo, or whatever. No? Losing a sense of God's amazing grace, which alone we can speak in us, the human ability to respond to the God who speaks to us. God will love us first. Okay, an experience of oh, awakening to God's love, to the sweet song, to God's voice, to God's amazing grace. The joy of the gospel is all about. This is what the joy of the gospel is all about. I once was lost, but now I am found. I did not find it. He found me. As I mga ano, no, hindi mo na ako nahanap na boyfriend. Sabi ko, wag ka lang magpahanap siya ang hahanap sa iyo para masabi mo, I did not find him, he found me. O di ba, kasi ganda yung laro, kaysa naman ikaw maghahanap mo. So, like a lost sheep, whom the shepherd did not give up on. Just when you thought he had left you to die in the fall dark. Eh, yung ano ko siya, pag mag-analyze ka yung life ng ano, ng sheep, bakit siya nawala? Eh, tatanga-tanga kasi eh. Eh, di ba yung shepherd, hindi na ganyan yung mga sheep. Eh, ba't siya 